Welcome to the first New Moon workshop of 2022. I cannot believe it's 2022. Like honestly, I'm genuinely shocked that it's 2022 right now. It feels like a minute ago since we started 2020. Today is all about setting intentions. There actually, in my opinion, isn't a better time for this to happen. The new moon is about setting yourself up for this whole year. This new moon is about the whole year. We're gonna set big, lofty intentions, or if it works for you to set smaller intentions, do that, and let's set ourselves up for 2022. The one thing that I would say is that this is a new moon. It's a super new moon. So you've got really, you do have a really great foundation to set these intentions, but it isn't a full moon. Go easy on yourself. Don't go into today, into the at the beginning of January and expect this big hit of energy because the new moon doesn't give you that. So we're starting this moon with setting the intentions so that when the full moon comes around in a couple of weeks, you can get going, you can start the year as you wish. This new moon is in Capricorn. Capricorn is in the body about joints and skeletal. It's asking us to think about what we can do for our joint care, for our body, any, um, however we're carrying ourselves, what's the best thing that we can do to move forward? And what intentions can we set to make the best of that in 2022. This moon is opposite Jupiter, which can make you feel insecure about everybody else and about everything else around you. So almost like a jealousy or an envy. You see everybody probably on Instagram, because that's where everyone does it, showing their best lives. Don't allow this new moon to, to bring out those feelings of anxiety around what others are doing you will only find answers in yourself so at the darkness of the moon go inwards and see what life really means to you rather than what others external view of life means to them in the same sentence the moon is conjunct with saturn which is all about aligning our inner selves and our outer selves bringing those into alignment so we can create the best year of our lives I'm going to keep that short today because I really want to get into our intention setting. I really want this to be a workshop that you can keep coming back to, you can write notes down and you can keep referring to them right across the year. The first thing we're going to do is pull some cards. We have three cards today. The first one is adjustments are required. This card is about trusting, allowing yourself to become in a flow state. Like I said, with the moon opposite Jupiter, you can quite easily look at other people's lives and other things around you and think that that's what you want for your life. But this card is asking us to adjust that thinking, to go into a space where we're thinking about our own soul and our own life path, our own journey and not looking at other people's because that is where the answer is. Using my example of my weight loss journey, I have been trying to lose weight since I was about 10. It hasn't happened because I've always been looking at it from an external point of view or what other people do. Whereas if you turn that around and start, I've started looking internally for the answer, that's when it's worked. The next card is communication is key. This is a reminder that you can't always do it all by yourself. Building a network around you and communicating with people about how you feel is going to make this journey in 2022 a lot easier. Finally, the third card, and this always comes up for us here, is show the world the real you. I really believe that social media and the way that we live our lives now is about showing our highlights. And of course, everybody's doing that. And what else are you going to do? You're not going to show the bad parts. But I think it's also about communicating that life isn't always perfect. And by showing the true inner self, your true inner soul, you are coming at life with a much more authentic way of communicating. And it's through authenticity that you will create your most beautiful life. Okay, so... Now I've done a card reading, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some journal prompts on the screen. 
I'm just going to cycle through these. Um, I'll put them on the screen and you can pause them as you go. It's really important at this stage to write as much down as you possibly can in your journal so that we can come back to it at the start of next year. It's also really going to help us get through to what you really, really want to manifest in 2022. What you're going to set these intentions on this new moon meditation that we're going to go straight into afterwards. So get your journals out. I'll put the things on the screen now and then we can meet back here once you're done. Let's get into the meditation. Find a comfy spot, close your eyes, and take a huge, big, deep breath in. The biggest, deepest breath that you've taken today, this year. And then hold it at the top and breathe it all the way out, getting your lungs empty, everything empty, all the way out, breathing out all the negativity from last year. And again, just a huge deep breath inwards. Hold it at the top and release all the way out, absolutely everything. And then I want you to just count your breaths. One on the in-breath, allow it to return back to normal. And two on the out-breath. And you're going to do that up until ten. And then you're going to start again at one. And I'm just going to leave you here for a minute while you do that. So I just want you to think about walking down a pathway. If you've been with me before, you'll know that we're heading to your heart space. And you're gonna walk all the way down this pathway and at the end, there'll be a big door. I'm gonna go through the door and into your heart space. If you've been here before, you'll know what this looks like. If you're new here, this can be whatever you want it to be. It's your space, no one else can come in. No one else is allowed to dictate to you how to feel or what to do while you're in here. So there'll be a sofa somewhere in the room. I want you to head over and sit on the sofa. And somewhere in front of the sofa, there'll be a fire. Maybe it's a candle burning. Maybe it's a fire in the table. Maybe it's a fireplace. But there'll be somewhere with a burning flame. 
I want you to sit and look at your aura, which is an egg-shaped space of light around your body. Twenty twenty one has left marks on your aura. Everyday life leaves marks on your aura. I want you to look at all the spaces in your aura. Imagine it's one solid colour with different spaces that don't quite feel right to you. And I want you to send light, the colour that's in the rest of your aura, to those spaces of darkness, to those spaces that don't quite feel right. I want you to imagine yourself pulling out any negativity or anything that you don't want in your aura and putting it in the fire in front of you. I'm going to leave you again here for a minute while you do that. So now you should have one solid colour in front of you. There may be some spaces that you haven't been able to clear, but that's fine. We can always come back and do this again. And to think about this light shaft coming down from the sky into the top of your head, and it's a white, bright light. And this light's just going to come down and cover your whole body and your aura with its healing energy. Soak up all that light and allow your body to feel the warmth. It might be worth looking at whatever colour your aura is and seeing what that stands for once we finish the meditation. So now we're going to go over to a whiteboard. This whiteboard could be anywhere in your room, it could be an old school flip chart, it could be a fancy whiteboard on a wall, it could be just a regular blackboard, it could be whatever you want it to be. There's a space on the wall that we're going to write some intentions. Think about whatever you've just written in your journal and we're going to write out what our intentions are for 2022. I'm just going to give you a minute to write down whatever you want on this board. It might be worth just thinking about how you want your day to play out in your ideal day as you're writing these intentions.
So then we're just going to head outside. If you've been with me before, your garden will be growing, hopefully, with the intentions that you've set in the previous months. You'll be able to see the patches that you've cleared on the full moon. And you're going to head to the patch that you last cleared on the full moon. If you haven't done one of those, just head to any patch of dirt you can see in the garden. On the ground, there'll be a seed packet and a pen. I want you to write your word of the year on this seed packet. If you haven't found it yet, don't worry. Just write the first word that comes to mind for 2022. If you turn the seed packet over, there'll be another word. This word is a gift from the universe to you. Everybody's word will be unique. Try and remember it. And try and keep it in your heart across the whole of 2022. So then we're just gonna take the seeds out of the packet and we're gonna sow them into the ground. Maybe you've got lots of little seeds or maybe you've got just a couple of larger seeds. Maybe you're planting trees, maybe you're planting flowers. Let's pop them all into the ground. I'm gonna leave you here for a minute while you do that. And then there'll be a watering can. So you are going to fill the water with love and happiness, excitement for 2022. Just imagine yourself putting those words into the water. Then you're going to water the ground where you've just planted your seeds. If you have any seeds from previous months, water those as well. Think about how you feel as you're doing it. Really set the intention of how you want 2022 to feel. If any thoughts of negativity come up, that's absolutely fine. Just try and let them dissipate. And then we're just gonna set the watering can back down and we're gonna head inside. Just going to go back and sit on the sofa and think about everything that we've written down, everything that we have sown and we're going to play it out in our ideal day. I'm going to leave you here for a few minutes while you think about what your day would look like. You will have written it down in your journal a few minutes ago. I just want you to play that day out in your head as if it was happening. Try and get as real as you can by thinking about literally who's around you, what you're doing, where you are, how you feel, what you can smell, what you can see. Try and go as detailed as you can.
if your mind wanders, just bring it back to your ideal day. And so then, as you finish your day, you're just gonna stand back up. Make sure everything in your room is set, ready for you to come back here at the full moon or any time in between. I'm gonna close the door and walk back along your pathway. You're just gonna start wiggling your toes, moving your fingers, and place both hands over your eyes. As you blink your eyes open, you are gonna be the first person you see. And I'm just gonna play a grounding sound. This might get a little loud, so you might wanna be, take your headphones off or turn your volume down. Welcome back. I really hope you have enjoyed today's new moon workshop. You can keep coming back to this workshop again and again, right up until the full moon. Use it as much as you want to set your intentions and to build your energy for 2022. This month, I'm posting a video every single day in January. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video.